Hello, hello, playing for Fun King here with a new video um, of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. I'm really excited to play this game. Like I said before, thank you so much for following my channel. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for sharing with your friends and family. Without any further delay, let's start the game. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's go back to the let's go back to the market and uh, sell them for sure. You know, I think we need. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> we need those. Okay, let's see if we can buy it. Nope, we can't yet. Alright, I think that's good enough. Um, I think we should be ready to go. Let's see. No, we are just gonna go to the main quest. Let's do it. You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightbodies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Why does he have so much stuff? Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the Daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. All right, let's go to Petra and um, <coughs> talk to her. I think she was a little upset. Hopefully it's not another quest. That's the only thing. I just hope. Remedy for all. 
Where did I see Petra? I found her somewhere. Sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh, okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh, maybe I... This game, you have to be, then like, really patient. You have right to do, like, almost everything. Right because you never Red. know what you'll find. So. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... <coughs> explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective, yes. Basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work there's one small snag i need the parts to meet the first working model well for starters i'll need charger horns intact yeah that just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down otherwise they break but the real innovation and keep it to yourself is a fang horn rib there's a mean one east of here blow it sky high boomer you get them for me it's yours my treat you have a deal. Well, those errands are really good. Uh, I think I'm gonna do one of them. <clears throat> and, um, I hope you guys don't mind. But let me, let me, let me enjoy it. Let me enjoy it. All right, let's talk to Petra too. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. All right. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. That's a big pint. Fire and spit. <laughs> Fire and spit. <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. 
Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Tallinn Clean Brokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Tolland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan clean brokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. This Tallinn guy might still be in chain scrape. No one wants to play strike. First. No? Anyway. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hold. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> it's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. 
So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen. See, that's the reason why you have to play this game like trolley. Like, you have Even to I already play had the right every single thing. There's nothing I can because do. there's so many things you can Unless find. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough meat. That's it. Scroungers. Mildred said I could find them in the corner of their spot place.
through the scrap piles for a metal pen. Check another scrap pile. I'll stash this away for later. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. I'm telling you guys, this game you have to play like... You, you have to play like truly. You have to enjoy playing. Take your time. Visit everything, you know. Just... Enjoy it. Mm. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two! Uh, <laughs> each journey begins with a single step, I guess. <laughs> I think I have everything you asked for. And just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Wow. Mildiff, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again.
Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Okay, that's where you go. the same nice to see you too sorry <laughs> I can't remember what it is so. okay and expect to see you up and about okay we have to get the charger and uh, um don't forget, we should not kill it first. We have to remove the material first, the resources first. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Good for that machine with shock ammo.
Should have enough charger horns for Dan and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that thing horn they were talking about. I can grab this from my stash later. <laughs> Rumor said that thing one should be nearby.
should be able to harvest its rib now. Got everything I need for Dell and Burma. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Take too much time. I'll keep some extra on hand. Friends in my stash later. All right, done. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? The boomsticks. Probably. Can I have one? No. Ah. Uh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom. <laughs>
That's true. This one, I have to finish that. I just needed to go back to him. Mm. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right. Let's see. That one. Yeah, this one we're gonna call it side mission slash slash. I think we, we already did this one, so we just need to go back to him and let him know what happened. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here... Ulvert. Ah, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his Everybody constant demands Holden. every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvert can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Olven's name keeps coming up, and it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make.
Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. You see, what I like under Osaram law, is that the side mission, unlike other games, numerous ventures. are connected to the kind of the main mission. The concession? No. I mean, you Not can finish well, the main mission without the side mission, but it's usually access. good to, Hence, to do all of them together. Is so, important to so that's what I'm going to be doing. Why blaming the so. Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. you the machine hunter that bailed out the carja never heard it put that way before what do you want heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs yeah well you heard wrong there's salvage up there a storm bird nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town not an easy shot if i do say so myself it clipped its wing and it crashed into the old tower up there killed it quick so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way.
All right, I guess I can do both quests back to back. So I'm going to do this one, and then after that, I'm going to go here. Anyways, uh, but that's going to be on the next video. Um, thank you so much for following the channel. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Please, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe for new content. All right, guys. Without any delays, I will let you go. All right, talk to you later.